It's the mystery loan that suddenly appeared in Ashley and Cameron's account. Both say they didn't apply for it and both say they don't want it. So it begs the question, how on earth did it get there in the first place? It's the deposit you dream of. You wake up in the morning, you check your bank account, and suddenly you're thousands of dollars richer. Sweet, yeah? No, anything but sweet, mate. Anything but. I looked at my phone and I'm like, what the hell is that? That is a personal loan that Cameron is adamant he didn't apply for. The loan his fiancée, Ash, is equally adamant she didn't apply for. So, who did? A scammer. Someone dishonest. It's the personal loan that's become very personal. The couple who says their own bank is having a lend of them. Now, it's war. And we are going to battle till it's resolved. This is the bank that says... Let's never stop imagining all, all the ways, ways we can. can. But Cam and Ash claim the bank can't or won't help them. It's just not on. I just don't understand how a company that we've trusted our whole lives, such as the Commonwealth Bank, can be doing this, you know, to a young couple like us. Cam, a builder, and Ash, a school teacher, want the loan removed from their credit history, but the bank is refusing because it claims there's no evidence of fraud. Cam and Ash are even making payments on the loan they say they didn't apply for. I'm still having trouble coming to grips with the fact that you are paying off a loan that you say you didn't take out. Yeah. Why would you do that? Well, we have to because, according to the Commonwealth Bank, it's our loan, and if we don't pay it, then that will reflect on our credit rating, so we've got to keep paying this loan that we didn't take. Read this document from ComBank and you'll understand the couple's distress and confusion. We have reasonable basis to believe that you have been involved in a scam. In the same document, this. We find that you are liable for any outstanding amounts. Then this a few paragraphs later. We appreciate you may be going through a difficult time. Being a victim of a scam can be both emotionally and financially distressing. What's your main beef? The way we've been treated. And the fact that they just will not remove it off our credit report. Particularly when we've taken all the right actions and it seems like this is a mistake on their behalf and we're the ones that are suffering from it. The morning Cam discovered the personal loan, applied for and granted online, he went straight to his ComBank branch in Mill Park, Melbourne. Now, Cameron, you came here and on your phone you had your banking details up, didn't you? Yeah, correct. You, you had your account open. Yeah. And you say you were being hacked when you were looking at it. Yes, I was with the branch manager. The, the manager here? Yeah, here. Yeah. What? And it was just amazing. It's... What was happening? It, I, I, was, I had the money in my account and then all of a sudden it was getting dispersed in front of our eyes. Cam and Ash say their local branch was helpful, but ComBank's fraud department was anything but. But the bank hasn't helped? No. Instead, no. what has the bank done? So they've basically accused us of fraud in the sense that we apparently took out the loan and that we're liable. This young couple, how would you describe this case? I'd say that it's fairly obvious they've been involved in some kind of breach, possibly multiple. Bastian Treptel is a cyber expert employed by major companies to safeguard their intellectual property. Hackers and scammers, he says, are targeting us like never before. Australians should be scared. How do we beat these hackers? In Australia, we need to wake up as a culture that this is actually affecting us. Something like one in three Australians are part of a breach and most Australians aren't doing anything about it. Most Australians are still using the same password everywhere. That's got to change. Bastian is a former hacker and knows firsthand how the crooks work. What you're about to hear is frightening. We actually went and met one of these organisations in Southeast Asia and they were set up amazingly. Four storey building, 180 staff, set up with Australian trained psychologists that had gone to university here in Australia. They're well funded, they're diverse, they're patient. They're and smart. They, they are smart. In Cam and Ash's case, if there's a loan, there must be a loan application. The couple claim they asked the bank if they could see it, and they were told... They said, I need a subpoena. You need a subpoena? Yeah. They wouldn't just show it to you? No. To stop all the trouble? No. So what, what do you think of that? If, if I applied for the loan, then I should be able to see the application. 
Pam and Ash want a clean loan history because they're about to refinance their new home build. Every dollar counts. It's our dream home and we just want to start our life here. What are your top three tips for viewers at home? First of all, get two-factor authentication set up on everything. Second of all, make sure your passwords are complex and individualised. And third, I would say, update everything you own. Hackers are looking for that easy way in. Is the easy way in your TV? Is it your phone? Is it your laptop? Is it your work? Is it your Wi-Fi? Update all those things to make it harder for a hacker. So what would you say to the Commonwealth Bank, the pair of you? Watch how you treat people. Like, we're humans. We're, you know, we fight every day to earn our money to live and... In a blink of an eye, something like this can happen and it was, it was out of our control. We took all the right actions and yet we still haven't been given a fair outcome at all. Well, Commonwealth Bank told us it encourages all customers to remain vigilant and says it's implementing new scam detection to protect customers. Ashley and Cameron have lodged a complaint with the Australian Financial Complaints Authority.